Hey guys, Bill here. You know, you guys have been sending me a lot of very strange fish pictures lately, but one of the weirdest and coolest, because it's one of my favorites, is this one. The photo sent in by Amos Christophers shows one of the most beautiful transparent fish I have ever seen. The caption said it was caught near New Zealand. But is this picture for real? Or are we just looking at another big, fat, watery fake? Why don't we jump in and see what we can find out? The first thing I did was post this on my Facebook because there are some very good people there who can figure this stuff out in seconds. On the one hand, there were a lot of people who said this was real because there are a lot of transparent fish in the ocean. But on the other hand, there were many people who said it was fake, pointing to some Photoshop fakes they had seen themselves. I sent the picture over to my research group, the Chewy Piranhas, who in turn consulted with the world famous Monterey Bay Aquarium. And that, my friends, led to this, the official answer. Now, you know, I can't wait to tell you what's in here, but before I can do that, you need to tell me what you're thinking up here, okay? That's the way it works on this series. Okay, now, when I say go, what I want you to do is yell out as loud as you can, either real or fake, okay? Now, if it's a little bit late at night or you might get in some trouble, it's okay to pause the video here, go down to the comment section, leave your answer down there, and then come back here and play the rest of the video to see if you were right or not, okay? You ready? And go. Okay, did you do it? Good, because in just a few seconds, we're gonna open up this envelope so I can tell you what the official answer is. But first, I've got some stuff that was so crazy this week, you know, I just gotta tell you about it. This one called Tiger Rabbit was sent in by Aaron Griffin, who wanted to know if it was real or not. Aaron, I don't know how to break it to you gently, so I'm just gonna say it. So, so fake, fake, it's, it's funny. funny. Giant Monkey's Takeover City was sent in by Tyler Loop from Canada. Tyler, unless you're trying to make a joke about Canadian politics, this is... So fake, so fake it's, it's funnier. funnier! Rolanda Ballenbin sent in this picture of a two-colored cat, which looks very fake. But Rolanda, not only is this cat real, it has its own Facebook page. Its name is Venus, and nobody really knows why she was born with a face like that. Wow, that's a pretty cool cat, huh? but I, uh, I'm not quite sure I'd want to own it myself because depending on which side you look at it from, I mean, you may not even recognize it as your own cat. But anyway, let's get back to this. The fish you might look at from any angle and not even see it. I wonder if it's real. We're gonna find out right this second. And here we go. It's a short one. Uh, the photo of the tiny transparent fish has been investigated. Based on the evidence presented, it has been unanimously agreed that the photo is 100% without any margin of error, real. Wow, that's pretty amazing. A transparent fish that's real. I mean, who was the first one that saw this thing? No sooner did I post it on Facebook than 47 comments filled the page with all sorts of opinions. Ileana Reyes Tan said it was a real jellyfish. Vern Mayan said it was an Indian glassy fish. And James Ford was convinced it was a juvenile yellow tan. Is that like to drink? Gradually, a consensus developed around the notion that whatever this is, it's a juvenile. As reader Von Bonson pointed out, at a younger stage, many marine animals are transparent to help them avoid predators. That makes sense to me. Gordon Park was the first one to identify the creature as a juvenile surgeon fish. As it turns out, these fish grow up to be a beautiful blue color and very popular among aquarium owners. It grows up to about 30 centimeters or 12 inches and lives in a wide range, including the waters near New Zealand. Okay, well, that's all the time I have for this video. I want to thank Amos for sending in that amazing photo. I also want to thank the Chewy Piranhas for their great research work, as well as the Monterey Bay Aquarium for helping us solve this little riddle. But the big kudos today goes out to all my friends on Facebook who really got down to business and nailed this one to the wall. See you next time.